All right, Steve, it's great to have you with us today. So I know you've developed a product that's basically the perfect pesticide. Can you tell us about that and why it's so much safer than traditional pesticides? Be happy to, Tom. In fact, I call it a pesticide rather than a pesticide because uh, and we, we trademark that so that word is actually legally mine, pesticide. And what it does is that side means to die. Homicide, suicide, pesticide, it means to kill. That's what it is. Fraternicide, all, all the things, you know, the genocide, all those mean death. So I had to come up with something that was trying to find a way to solve a problem. And I came up with this product called treatment. And treatment is a combination of various things that I know will safely remove past problems. Now, when we got it done, I could kill any insect, basically, any arachnid, basically, any fungus, any mildew, any mold, any bacteria, or any virus in seconds. Why and how did I do it? First of all, any cleaner, any cleaner whatsoever, glass cleaner, dishwash, dish soap, whatever, will kill insects better than any insecticide. So in there is dish soap. And I also found out that every insect has a covering that's made of protein. So if you have a protease enzyme, it cuts right through that like a knife through, hot knife through butter. It cuts the ectoskeleton. And every insect, when it molts, uses a little bit, just a breath, of protease enzyme. And it splits open the ectoskeleton. And they step out, get puff a little air in it, get twice as big, harden, scamper off until the next mold. No. When you spray it with the dish soap, it cleanses the ectoskeleton, the dirt, the grime, the grease. The protease cuts through the ectoskeleton, and the insect dies instantly, or the, or the arachnid. So it's one of the few things I know will kill ticks. It's one of the few things that will kill your mange. I use the same product to remove skunk odor. But this thing will kill and cure virtually everything. Now, here, when I'm down here in Florida, I keep my Safe Solutions enzyme cleaner in a bottle, just a simple bottle. It makes it one ounce per quart of water. So it's one ounce to 32 ounces. And I use it for everything. When there's bug flies in here, because there's mosquitoes on the outside of the door, and open up the door, they fly in here. I give them a spritz, just like that, and it's all gone. The they don't instantly. If I get it, every once in a while a cockroach comes in from outside, I spray it, falls over dead. If I, if I, and as I'm an old man, sometimes I drip on my clothing and I get a spade, a splot there. Before I wash it, I give it a spray. It removes all the stains. If I'm out there working with the car and my hands are all grease, I use the concentrate of this stuff. It's better than Gojo to me. It takes all the grease and grime off. And because it's got a pH of 7, it doesn't hurt my skin. Now, basically, all that's in it is dish soap, meat tenderizer, which is the protease, some glycerin, and very simply, a very safe product that's going to not harm you. Now, I like it. It's um, pH balanced. It takes care of things. It will cure anything you want. It's just a simple spray. You can use it to wash, but we've had people use this to clean, like a, in a kennel. When they clean the, clean the floors with it, there is no um, kennel cough, there are no fleas, there are no ticks, and the odors are all gone. It doesn't smell like it's a kennel, it smells like just fresh. And all that's right there because that's what this thing does. It's a very, very simple way of solving your problems. Now, we've had schools that use this. And they clean with it. And they started out using this because they, they were trying to get rid of bloodborne pathogens. But you've got to be real careful because this is not, this is an EPA exempt product, basically. There's nothing in it that's going to hurt you. So you've got to be real careful because when you start saying bloodborne pathogens, they're going to say that you're going to make a claim of that. Well, I'm just telling you, we, we when somebody gets in school, bleeds, or they have an accident, 
excrement or they vomit or whatever, they clean this and it's all gone. There's nothing there. We've, we've done checks before that see if there's any bacteria count. There's nothing. I think, wow. The other thing is when they mop the floors with this, there's no, just, just using this product in the school system, there were no pests. Just mopping with it. Now, they weren't spraying up. They just mopped with it. The other thing that was funny is there's no mice because there's peppermint in it. And mice don't like peppermint, so they run. So you, when, they, when, you know, when they've got the doors open in the summer and they're cooking in the kitchen and there's garbage and everything else and the mice go in and out, they don't like this, they leave. So it strips the grease, it does all those things, it's a wonderful product, and it can't hurt you. So it always removes insects, arachnids, fungus, mildew, mold, bacteria, and viruses, and it does it without harming you. We've had many people use this, and they've never had a problem, even like I said, when you're using it straight to use grease, like uh, from a car engine or whatever. It's a wonderful product. And as I said, the simplest way is when you mix it at one ounce per quart, it's a universal whatever you need it for. Spray, something comes in your room, boom, you got it. I, what I like to do with it is because I'm lazy here. I'm, I'm, I'm a bachelor down here in, in Florida. And I don't like doing dishes. So I take this, and it's right by the sink. This is for my sink. If I got a dish, I spray, you know, get it wet, and I spray it just to mist it. Or, you know, silverware, and I just spray a little bit. And I rinse it off, and it's already there. Now, I'm down there, and it's a wonderful way of cleaning and everything else. Like, I, if I want to clean glass with this thing, I can't use it as an ounce per quart. I have to use it as a, a, a half ounce per gallon. But when you use it as a half ounce per gallon, it, it's perfect glass cleaner. But, again, most people want to do stuff. They want to make it stronger than what I suggest. It'll streak the windows if you make it too strong. So you just want it, a breath of it. Doesn't take much. That doesn't take much for that insect to fall apart. You know, it just you know there. That, that's a very small amount because if it took a lot more when they when they made that zipper or that pretty zipper, when that happens, it would kill not only the old one but the new one. It just takes a breath of protease. But it's something they can never, ever, ever, ever become resistant to. Right now, they're all over the world. are talking about resistant insects. They're talking about insects uh, like uh, that. They're talking about they can't control, you know, certain pest problems because they're resistant to it. This they never become resistant to. It's the perfect pesticide. It will not create any resistance, resistance because they can't become resistant to the thing that opens them up. If that was the case, if they could become immune to protease enzyme, you would never have any insects other than this size. You're not going to see them. You understand? And they'll never become sexually mature because they can't get bigger. So it's perfect. Now, all this stuff that's going on and people are so worried about it, this is the safest way you can handle your pest problems, your odor problems. You can mop with it, clean with it. We get people who use it all over their bodies. Because it, it also that I have people tell me it removes mange on the dogs and scabies on, 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 uh, on people. We don't recommend it for lice, but it'll kill lice. There's nothing that I can find that it won't hurt except something that doesn't have an ectoskeleton, like a worm. It doesn't have an ectoskeleton. So you, you, you can, it doesn't kill earthworms. That's just good. It also doesn't kill corn borers because they're inside the corn. But anything that's on the outside, it, it has a very good beneficial effect. That's why it's a best to save and why it's a perfect pesticide or a perfect pesticide.